Hello and welcome to round four of the Mercedes-Benz UCI World Cup here from Val de Sole in Italy. And this weekend, the man himself, Nino Schurter, has decided to give everybody else a chance by racing on this very special bike. Nino, I'm not going to lie to you, I am a little confused. What are we looking at here? Yeah, we are this weekend celebrating six years of Scott Sports. Um, and this was one of the, or was the first mountain bike they produced. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a try. <laughs> Yeah, nah, it's just, uh, uh, it's not the bike I'm really racing on it. It's just to have a look on it. It's a, it's a yeah, beautiful bike. Um, yeah, it's crazy how time is, is changing everything. And uh, can you imagine, probably you can't ride uh, with that bike a modern cross-country course like we have here in Waldi So <laughs> If you don't think you could, I'm sure I couldn't. Let's take a look at what you'll actually be racing this weekend. Yeah, this is my rocket uh, for this weekend. It's, uh, yeah, as we saw the bike before, it's the same color as the first mountain bike from, from Scott. And uh, on the other side, it's the same setup. I race, was racing the other races. It's the Scott Spark um, with, uh, yeah, the SRAM, SRAM group set, um, synchros handlebar, the special one. Um, Rock shock, um, suspension, and Maxxis tires. This isn't something that's just been sent off for a quick spray in the paint shop, has it? This has been three months in the making, this bike. It's really special. It's quite a cool thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a bit of work behind, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's not just the bike, it's also my outfit. We have all the old logos, Rock Shocks, the old logo, the old logo from SRAM. Um, it's a lot of details, also my shoes. Your first, shoes as well? First design of a Scott shoe. And uh, it's not just the bike, it's also the helmet. It's like the design of one of the first helmets. Uh, when I got the bike yesterday, I was really excited. It's, it's definitely something, something different. Uh, I'm uh, used to it. So then tell us about your uh, bike setup. When did you first get on this, the latest version of this Spark? Yeah, I'm racing with the Spark now since, uh, since 2016. We actually developed this bike for the, for the Olympics in, in Rio. And uh, yeah, I was really successful on it. And uh, now we have... Uh, doing some small changes like suspension we changed uh, with a uh, rock shock suspension uh, uh, that we are using now then the synchros handlebar is something quite or That's, that is quite something that bar and stem tell us a bit it looks almost like a moto gp cockpit the way it looks tell us a bit about that yeah it's a super clean cockpit uh, stem and handlebar uh, together uh, it's quite a bit lighter and uh, uh, quite a bit stiffer so uh, has quite a bit of uh, advantages then, uh, yeah, the drivetrain, the uh, SRAM. This is, this is something very special, this drivetrain, because this is the actual Bluetooth enabled, isn't it? I can't, still can't talk about it. Okay, let's not talk about it too much, but um, yeah, there's no, ca there's no cables coming out of that fit, so. I can't tell that there's no cables coming out there, but. Uh... Tell us about this, this is a twin lock lever as well, so can you lock out your fork and shock independently of each other? How does that work? Yeah, that makes uh, this bike uh, unique. It's like the, the twin lock um, with uh, three positions. I have, a tr I have a full open for descending or a really bumpy section. Then I have a traction mode for, for climbing or if I still need a bit of support, and then I have a full, full lockout. And that makes it to really, really that weapon. How, how, sorry, how often are you using that, the one on lap? Yeah, actually, we, it's crazy how much I'm using it. Uh, really? We did some testing on the track in Lenzerheide and uh, they found out during a race of, of, of 90 minutes I'm using it almost uh, 200 times. How do you like your brakes to feel? Do you like a load of power early on? Do you like a bit more lever pull? What do you like? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually like it if, if, if it's not coming too far back, and, uh, but I'm not that picky about toads. I'm, you can ride pretty much anything is what you're saying. Yeah, or our mechanics are doing an amazing job actually. On a mountain bike, you're moving that much, you're going front, back, and, and so, and I'm used to a lot of different bikes. So. <laughs> well, don't forget, you can enjoy all the racing with Nino and all the other big guns on Sunday, right here on Red Bull TV. Yeah, nah, it's just, uh, uh, it's not the bike I'm really racing on it. It's just to have a look on it. It's a, it's a yeah, beautiful bike. Um, yeah, it's crazy how time is, is changing everything and uh, can you imagine, probably you can't ride uh, with that bike a modern cross-country course like we have here in Waldi Sole. <laughs> you don't think you